An international group of scientists, including molecular biologists from plant and food research in New Zealand, have now discovered the key to one of biology's most well-known experiments, the genes that control the flower colour in pea plants. The same gene that Austrian monk Gregor Johann Mendel was observing in his initial study of inheritance more than 150 years ago. Between 1856 and 1863, Mendel cultivated and examined the phenotypes of more than 28,000 pea plants. During this research, he observed seven traits of the plant, seed shape and color, pod shape and color, stem height, flower position, and flower color. Mendel's work, although groundbreaking, had little impact at the time, and in fact the significance was barely recognized until the 1920s and 30s, where his work was used to demonstrate Darwin's theory of evolution by way of gene frequency, population genetics, and inheritance. Many of the terms coined by Mendel still exist today, including the terms dominant and recessive. For his work, Mendel is now often referred to as the father of genetics. Today, a great deal is known about the genetics of inheritance, and we actively breed for traits we desire in both plants and animals based on this understanding. We also see it every day in the familiarity that exists within families, in traits such as hair colour, eye colour and tongue curling, as well as many traits we can't see, including blood type or a person's predisposition to genetic disorders. The discovery of the mechanisms behind pea flower colour is the fourth of Mendel's seven traits to be solved, as plant and food researcher Dr Roger Hellens explains. I first got involved in this project about 15 years ago when I was in the lab that cloned the first of Mendel characters, the one responsible for round and wrinkle peas. And at that time, the project I was involved in, the white flower, was just a little bit too tough. We didn't have the tools needed. But more recently, the genome of Medicargo, a related plant, has been sequenced and, and we've been able to align the whole genome of Medicargo with the genetic map of pea. And that's allowed us to identify the molecular nature behind this white flowered character. And uh, what we've found is that this white flower character is, is, is uh, a mutation in a transcription factor that regulates the biosynthesis of anthocyanins. Uh, anthocyanins are the red compounds that you found on the outer surface of apples, and it's the, the same compound that makes red wine, the color that it is. Uh, and this particular transcription factor regulates the biosynthesis of this pathway. Uh, and in the white flowered peas, this gene no longer functions, and it no longer accumulates the anthocyanin compounds. And when we looked more closely, the change was a, just a tiny change uh, in, in the transcription factor that stopped it, it from uh, processing its RNA. And so the product of this gene was a truncated, non-functional uh, gene. And that's uh, why um, the white flower peas are the way they are. Uh, the, the, the project itself was very collaborative. It involved um, research laboratories from Plant and Food in Auckland, in Christchurch, and in Palmerston North and also overseas collaborators, including uh, the John Innes Centre in Norwich, as well as people in America and France.